Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. Tonight, I'm gonna go to Meijer, and we are just gonna shop around together. So there is one reason I'm going, and that is to look for these new Starbucks pink drinks. Okay, look how, okay, it's a little melted now, but I'm gonna attach a photo right there. Look how beautiful my homemade Starbucks pink drink is. It's so good. I think it tastes better than the one at Starbucks, and this is what it comes in. So I only used half the bottle. Look at that. Starbucks pink drinks. They're selling out like everywhere. And then the Paradise one. They said on uh, Meyer's website that they're out of the pink drink, but they have the Paradise one, which I really like the Paradise one too, because it's like pineapple-y, but it's like such a perfect summer drink. So I wanna grab like a couple more if they're available. And then I might just need like a few groceries, like bologna. I really have been craving a bologna sandwich, I know. And eggs, because I think the eggs, I. I do have in my fridge currently are rotten and I think that's maybe what, what gave me food poisoning so I need to get some eggs because I do like eating eggs for breakfast and some yogurt because I was eating that a lot it's like a good morning snack before the gym that's like very small so I need some yogurt and yeah I'm gonna just stop at Meyer and I thought to bring you all along who likes my new glasses I just picked them up today, so I'm wearing them, but I really like them. They're very cute. So, they're from Tiffany. <clears throat> Sorry. They're from Tiffany. And they have, like, the cute little blue dot on the back. They were, like, 300 at my eye doctor place, but after the insurance, they were only 80 and that's including the frames. So, that was exciting. The contacts are still, you know, kind of pricey, but... I asked them about LASIK and they told me, I don't know, I think I'm just too afraid. Like I don't, I don't think I'm really that interested in that. It interests me but it also like, it doesn't bother me wearing contacts and glasses. Shane's podcast is on in the back. I watch it every single night, it's so interesting. Always, the stuff they talk about. <laughs> I feel like I'm like involved in the conversation. But yeah, I'm about to go, it's almost nine so it is getting late but I slept in today because I've been getting really bad sleep and I don't know if it's like my mattress, it's probably just like everything, but my mattress is so hard, like it kills my back, so I don't know, I feel like I could eventually get a new one. But let's go to Meyer. Okay, look how huge this place is. I don't think I've ever been to this one yet. I, I don't think so. Ooh, so big. I love their logo, how it's always so massive on the buildings. I'm all about that, like, bright bright stores bright entrances i'm parked by the cart thing i love parking by that so you don't have to walk far after you get your groceries which i don't even know if i'll have to get a cart probably i don't want to carry everything <laughs> but i like love parking next to these things because i always put my cart back i will walk in the rain to put my cart back it's like such a big pet peeve of mine the people that leave it for the workers to do like help out a little you know I'm in um kind of a funny outfit here's my fit check got my dad shirt on with camo sweatpants doesn't really match I know and then the best part of it all look at my gardening socks my mom got me these for Easter <laughs> it says um rather be in the garden on the back you guys this iced coffee is so so delicious i've had the vanilla one before and the can is so cute so it's no refined sugar a single shot of coffee and it's dairy free so uh, mocha i've never had matcha green tea Ooh, and caramel so i'm gonna try the caramel and the mocha. I really like the vanilla one too though, but I feel like this is good for now. Is Steph really feeling like Steph at the grocery store if she does not get some kind of cheese? So this is a sharp cheddar cheese ball with almonds. They have this everywhere at like all different stores. They're just like different brands and they taste like a little bit different, but they're all so good. It's like one of my favorite cheese balls. Wow, their hummus section is big. Look at this, sriracha carrot hummus. I love the roasted red pepper. I've never seen this roasted jalapeno one. Ooh, I've had this one before, it's really good. I love this brand. Kinda wanna try this jalapeno one. Okay, never mind. I am just such a garlic. So I got the garlic hummus and the garlic and herbs. Pita chips, good little nighttime snack. I love hummus. 
Whoa, look at these tomatoes. Cool. Okay, this is the grocery store to be at. Seriously, look at this. They have this cute beer cheese, spinach dips, this garlic sauce with a lemon sauce whipped in it, tzatziki, street corn dip. Oh shoot, I might want that one. Fried pickle and ranch dip. Wow. Those all look so good. And then I also love these non-dippers. I usually just get the original ones. What are these? Oh, everything seasoning. I've never seen those ones. Shall we do weekly grocery store hauls like this? Thumbnail. <laughs> There's like no one in here at nighttime. And the store's so big, so like I feel completely fine vlogging in here. There's really no one around. I'm debating if I should get the hummus or like one of these fun ones. Oof, set that. Jeez. My gosh, I am like really bad at reading. I think I see things backwards. I've never been diagnosed with dyslexia, but like I cannot read. Feisty feta, zesty feta, cheese dip, yum. I wonder what this garlic sauce is. Like is it a dip or like you're supposed to put it on something? It doesn't say. I hate when it doesn't like give you ideas because if not, I sometimes don't know. Okay, I decided I want this instead of the hummus. I'm so back and forth. I think I still have a little bit of leftover hummus from when I went to Trader Joe's, so we're gonna get this instead. Did you guys know why all the veggies are usually soaking wet and they like constantly spray it with water? Well, I learned in Shane Dawson's video that they keep it wet so it weighs more, so it costs more. So when you get it, you should shake it off. Scammers. Got some bananas, a little thing of blueberries. The blueberries were the cheapest. I was gonna get strawberries, but then I decided to switch it up get the cheaper and just because I haven't had them. And then also I love this black pepper salami to cut it up and eat like as like a little snack, like lunchable snack or on a charcuterie board. So good. And then we're gonna get some bologna. Oh gosh, this bologna has olives in it. That's scary. <laughs> I literally walked into the soft drink aisle where it said online that they had them sold out and someone else was asking and the worker was like yeah people keep asking about them but yeah they're sold out so that's okay though I still have a couple left I just wanted to get a few more if they had it but yeah those things are selling and one day like in a couple months I bet they'll be at Dollar General so hmm is there any other one I should try Oh, I've been wanting to try these. Oh, good. I'm glad I kept looking. Is this a mini? Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I like that size. That's like perfect size. Coffee cake muffin brownie batter. Yes, definitely want that. Cake batter I feel like might be too sweet. Coffee cake muffin. Huh. I don't know. I feel like I want brownie batter. I love this brand of dish soap and hand soap, which I have this one in the air freshener so i'm gonna get the matching hand soap i'm gonna get some heavy whipping cream which this is the perfect amount for vodka pasta also running low on some butter which i tried these overnight oats i don't know i think the packaging looks really cute i had the vanilla one and i did not like it it was like a really weird texture which i do like homemade overnight oats but yeah i had to like throw it away i did not like it at all but oh eggs Yes, almost forgot. I kind of just buy whatever. Like, I don't really get a specific one. This store is huge, you guys. I'm like halfway through and <laughs> they have all TVs back there. And look at these cannoli candles. Oh my gosh, I don't need any more candles. I don't, but I have to smell it at least. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Look how cute the little logo is, label. They have these miniature ones. This is kind of cute for like a windowsill. I feel like it'll burn in like one or two times though. Yum. That is so cute. I love like massive candles because you could leave them burning for like a while. I pretty much got about everything I needed. Got my yogurt, my favorite kind, some eggs. I got a lot of these coffees I'm gonna give my one friend to. My friend Brooke got me those pink drinks, so I'm gonna get her those coffees too. I already sent her a picture and she's not had them either. So we both like very, very sweet coffee. 
So I'm gonna get two of each and then maybe give her the cake batter one. There's There was only one cake batter. Holy bones, my dogs love these bones. So I'm gonna pick them up one. Let's see, should we get a different one? Okay, I've never seen this one before. You can put peanut butter in that opening. So I'm gonna get two. I have to get two of every single one. And then I was getting peanut butter too because they ate almost all of my other one. I got the no sugar one. I'm not sure which one is best because the ones at the pet stores, I feel like they have way more random ingredients. So I feel like it's really not that good. This is just peanuts, palm oil, and less salt. So that's fine in moderation. I love that bed so much. That is so cute too. I would get the bed, but I feel like I don't have that many beds out anymore because they just sit on the couch, which honestly, I'd rather them sit on a bed, like even not sleep with me, just because I can tell, it, it, like they stink things up, like it smells like dog. So I'd rather them sleep on a bed, but it's so hard to get them to go to, go to a bed once they've already been on the couch and everywhere. Okay, I just got back home and I told them that I have new bones for them. So I just put a little bit of peanut butter in them not too much just like around the rim of the new no sugar peanut butter these are massive bones look here take one here Hershey grab it it's a bone you chew on it Hershey there's another one over there they always go after the same one good girl over here look so my total was $96, and I only got this stuff, which is really not a lot. The dog bones were about $10 each, though. Dog toys are always a lot, especially if they're bones. But I got these coffees. Can't wait to try these, so I'm going to keep these, too, and give my friend those. And then I also got these ones that I really like. Just some white bread. I always just get the cheaper brand, especially hearing the conspiracy theories about <laughs> it all just being the same. So I always just get what's cheapest. Eggs, the corn dip, bananas, uh, some yogurt, some pita thins to go with the dip, and then also I got some whipped cream. I mean, <laughs> whipped cream cheese. I have some bagels that my mom made, so I love the chive kind. Some blueberries, some heavy cream, bologna, tomato, cheese and salami and some soap so that is everything I got I have everything all put away and organized I love displaying my eggs on this little thing I got from Target well let me know if you guys want to see more shop with me's like this but thank you all so much for watching this grocery haul and I'll see you next time bye guys